All right, guys, Coach Chad here. Today I'm going to be talking about what we're going to term the hollow body push-up. Some might know this as a version of the push-up plus, but I do separate out from that movement, so we'll call it a hollow body push-up, okay? So now you guys know the hollow body from gymnastics, which the easiest way to explain this is you're like the reverse of a uh, bottom of a rocking chair. I want your rib cage pulled and locked down to your abdominal cavity, your hip bone or your ASIS pulled up as close to your rib cage as possible. So you're squeezing the glutes and the quads while you're going through the movement. And in the upper body, you're actually protracting the shoulder blades and rounding the back out to a very strong degree, which then brings in a lot of uh, upper back musculature like serratus anterior, lower trap three, some of these kind of movements that are really going to be valuable to other things that we're doing in the gym, especially some of the gymnastics movements. But it's one more version of the strict push-up, which is uh, of course something that we can train and add into our uh, different programming, okay? So I'll show you two versions of this. One is going to be more in what we'll call a seal position with the toes extended and one on the toes. So here's the two different positions. So on the toes, protract, the chin tucks lightly, which is gonna mute the range of motion slightly. We're gonna come down, touch, and push up. The seal position brings me a little bit further forward, a little bit harder to get the position down. Okay, now not everyone may have the strength right off the bat to complete that push-up version on a flat surface. So all we have to do is elevate it. Now there's lots of ways we can do this. We can do this off the edge of a bench. I'm using a box here, which is actually narrow for grip. So you could maybe play around with box positioning a little bit, uh, or you could even use parallettes. And I think parallettes would be unique from a neutral position or stack them in a line and do it off of a straight version would also be an option. And I think those would be really cool ones. You just have to be cautious of the stability of your parallettes. So you can do the same version, the seal or the toed version here, but as you're progressing, most likely just easiest to do toes. So a quick demonstration of that movement. Start off in the same position, protracting, pushing the palms into the floor as much as possible, lengthening the body out, squeezing the glutes, rounding the back, slow lower, becomes a bit more of a tricep push-up, and really emphasize the protraction and depression at the top of the movement to bring the serratus into play, okay? Now this has a lot of carryover into things like overhead pressing, uh, even like bench press, things like that, uh, when we have to understand the appropriate scapular rhythm and how that scapula kind of connects onto the thorax, okay? We won't get into all of that right now, but that's one of the uses of this push-up, as well as just adding to that concept of loaded human movement and variability within uh, planes of motion. It's just one more movement or one more version of the classic push-up, which we can bring in that may have some carryover to some of the other exercises that we do in our gymnastics classes as well as our group classes. Thanks team.